hello. How's it going? Happy Easter holidays, or welcome back to school, should I say. Hope you had a really good time while you are away, you relaxed, stayed active, and just enjoyed being with your family. We're back now and it's time to get to work. Ooh. So I'm doing this video, got some of it whilst I'm out running, and uh, Mrs. Bridges is out walking Winnie, and I can just see her in front of me. I'll get her to say hello to you. Hi, would you like to say hello to everyone? Hi. Welcome back, right? Hi, St. Michael's. <laughs> right. Welcome back. There's Winnie. Summertime. Yeah. Summertime, let's make it a good one. Okay, see you later. Bye. <laughs> so hopefully you know by now, I like to push and challenge you on this channel. And today is no different because sometimes it's physical like workouts or technique challenges sometimes it's mental like 10 peg thursday mindset monday today a little bit of both so today i'm going to teach you about something called the learning pit or i call it the grip pit but it's a way of thinking it's a way to approach your learning and not just pe english math science you name it, anything it's a way of doing things that will build a grittier, more persevering, stronger person. And I'm going to use me as a guinea pig as well. Oh, look, Mrs. Bridges again. You can tell I'm running laps. I'm probably going to stop just to save my back. Hi. Hi. We're just talking about the learning pit. Oh, yeah. We're going down there and I'm going to take you through it. Like I say, using me as a guinea pig with something that for the last couple of years I've really put off learning and I've been a bit fearful of. And to prove that I can do it, I'm gonna take you through it with me. But before we go through that, let's talk about the learning pit, which I like to call the grit pit. And it always starts with a challenge, as in something you don't already know how to do. You'll probably feel emotions like being anxious, nervous, scared, but hopefully you'll also feel excited. And by the way, I'm really sorry about my drawing, but I am gonna give it a go. And that leads us nicely on to how you need to approach a challenge. You need to get interested, have a go, jump into the learning pit. But the thing about the learning pit is that when you're down there, you can't see the other side yet. You'll feel conflicted. Let's take an example from my life. Maths used to terrify me. I was much better with words than numbers. So when I was given a maths problem to solve and I jumped into the pit, I'd feel confused, sometimes angry that I didn't get it, ready to give up, and I might feel a bit silly. I'd say things like, this is too hard, or I'd justify it like saying, oh well, maths isn't my thing. But if you do quit there, you never get out of the other side of the pit. No real learning takes place. It's over, the fear wins. But what if there were ways to get out of the pit? Steps you could make for yourself and actions you could take. Stick with it because you can dig your own steps by approaching it as a problem to be solved. Like you're glad you're in the pit because it means you're going to push yourself. You're going to learn something. So your first step to approaching a problem you don't know how to answer is to have the attitude to try anyway. And if that way doesn't work, Okay, what about other ways I can try? What else is around me that I can use? A book, the internet, my notes? Notice how you haven't asked anyone else yet. This is about you doing it for you. You're concentrating, using strategy to solve it. And if that still doesn't help, how about a friend or sibling? Could you work together on it, collaborate? Look at how many steps you've made, how much nearer you are to the other side. And if you still don't know, do you then give up? No, of course you don't. How about asking your teacher for guidance? And I'm saying guidance here, not the answer, but guidance. I bet you, if you patiently go through those steps, you're gonna get out of the other side. And that is your eureka moment where deep, successful learning happens. And you did it all yourself. You did that. And why is a parent or teacher standing at the top with a rope? That's for just in case. You probably don't need them, but they're there just in case to pull you out of the pit if needed. But you got all the way there yourself because you had a go in the first place. Remember that good learners always go into the pit. 
All right, we're back in the room that you know. Don't judge me with what I'm wearing and you'll just be very thankful that it's not smell-o-vision because I've already done two workouts today. So this is gonna be the third and I'm going into the grip pit. It's about time. I've put off learning this move for, for a long time because of how complicated it looks. So I'm gonna show you in real time what I'm going through, but also, you know, if this does take me quite a while and I'm committed to getting it right, I'll show you how long it took me as well. And maybe if you want to learn along with me, this is your physical practice for the day and also it's good practice of being in the grip learning pit. Okay, Turkish get up. I'll put the video that I'm actually watching up here somewhere. And he'll roll to press. He'll maintain about a 45 degree angle with his arm and he'll match that angle with his leg. Now he's going to roll to his elbow. And then he's going to come up and post to his hand. And he's going to do a low sweep. You'll see this nice hinge position uh, in his hips, and then I have him come up in a lunge position and windshield wiper his foot and back room to square his hips. And then he'll go ahead and stand in the lunge position, and then he's going to reverse the movements. Lunge to a soft knee, that same movement of that windshield wiper with his lower leg, so he can now hinge to post, and he'll do the same low sweep, under control he'll come to his elbow, and to his back, he'll roll back to his side, Do you know what? That was nowhere near as bad as I feared when I started this and that usually is the problem, is it feels worse than it actually is once you get going. So my advice here is that you've got to throw yourself into the grip pit, the learning pit, all of this term. It is exciting, you need to not know what you're doing, that's the exciting part, but also you need to then keep going. If you're in the grip pit, if you're in the learning pit and you just stop, no proper deep successful learning will take place. It will only take place if you try the strategies to dig yourself some steps, to think about the things that you need to do. If you need to, you use a teacher, ask a teacher. That's what we're here for. We will always be here to get back to you and try where you can to leave your parents alone because two things will come of that. They're trying to obviously do a really hard job as well, their own jobs, but also no real deep learning comes when you get the answer from somewhere else. It's like, do you remember, have you ever had that situation where the answer's on the tip of your tongue and you're like, oh no, I know it, I know it, I know it. Would you rather someone tell you the answer or would you rather have the satisfaction of finally remembering or thinking of the answer and saying it yourself? I know which one I prefer, it's the one where it's all you, it comes from you and that's what the learning pit's all about. So we're here for you, the teachers are here for you, try and give your parents a breather where you can because they're working hard and if you need to, give us a shout and we'll get back to you. But it's time to go and get yourself in the learning pit for sure for this term. Take a punt, go into the unknown, it is exciting and you'll come out of this much, much stronger, we all will. Right, I'll see you tomorrow for Freestyle Friday, it's gonna be an exciting one.